today we're going to be talking about this camera vibration isolator arm by Pro Aims that's under 500 bucks that can do this. Hope you're having a great start of the year. If you're new to this channel, my name is Say. Welcome. As a disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Pro Aim, so logo. So everyone, meet Pro Aim Airway V5. She is a beauty. All metal body construction. Every single little of these screws and hinge points are also high quality metal. I mean, this thing is sturdy, guys. Let me go ahead and put my gimbal on here and tell you guys about the payload. Take this out. And I'll tell you guys a little bit more about this gimbal towards the end of the video because I chose this for safety reasons and for quick release. Yeah, that was super easy, right? And I know we're not driving right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and lock this safety lock right here. All right, so the payload on this rig is between three to seven kilograms, which translates to about 6.6 .6 pounds to about 15.4 pounds. And the gimbal setup I have here right now is little shy of 6.5 pounds. With this safety mechanism, I built this around it. It's probably about 6.6 .6 pounds exactly. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this spring tension knob all the way down. What you wanna do is have this about parallel to the ground. And we can also control the hydraulic dampening here. So let me see. All right, that's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the dampening just a little bit. There you go, and as you guys heard, there's a little clicky sound to it. And even with the short arm, it does have a pretty decent suspension travel, so now you're ready for those potholes on the beltway. And speaking of potholes, the reason why I have these little magic arms held by this cheese rod, because I want an additional support for the gimbal. Pro Aim does provide a very strong quarter 20 screw, but depending on the gimbal's receiving end, you may want to secure it even more. Now this gimbal is the Weeble 3S, and it happens that it has the quick release, but it also has two quarter 20s on the side. And when you first look at this, you might be thinking, doesn't that kind of constrict the movement of the vibration isolator? If you follow the RIX core, you notice that it's not touching any of that and you still maintain that vibration isolation. And everything you see here, I'm gonna leave some links in the description below because it does take a while to find all these parts. But I love the fact that Airway V5 has plenty of quarter 20 threads. You have one in the middle, which I'm using right now, and you have four in the corners. There's also four quarter 20s on the bottom plate. What you don't wanna do is attach your gimbal to those since this part is part of the core. Now the whole thing is held by this heavy duty lock scab. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this at the end of the video so I can show you. But this is compatible with 38 millimeter to 42 millimeter rods, which translates to about 1.5 to 1.65 inches, which is a little too thick for what I had. So this is what I had, guys. This, since it's a budget car rig, is a $17 flag pole holder that can go on your truck's hitch. I like this one because yeah, the rod does go through as you can see. The ones that are welded on top that doesn't go all the way through, yeah, I don't trust those. So all I did was put some heavy duty PVC pipe and glue it together and gaff tape it to make it look more professional. Now this does save you a lot of money, but problem with this one is the fact that if you put this on a mid-sized truck, so on a full-size truck, it's fine because if you have a pretty decent rake, yeah, you're not gonna hit the ground, but on a mid-sized truck, this is a little too low. So what you wanna do is get the Pro Aim's official truck hitch mount, which is super heavy duty. I love truck hitch mount because full size truck, for example, clearly it can tow 10,000 pounds. So it makes me feel very assured, especially starting out car rigs, you know? I know that's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> All right, so I mentioned that I'm gonna show you how to control this gimbal using your iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Juwin's official app here and go ahead and enter into the transmitter. Now this is Juwin's trans mount transmitter and go ahead and turn on the live image. As you can see, it's seeing what the camera is seeing. Let me go ahead and turn the gimbal around. Here you go, that's what my room looks like. <laughs> and what's cool about this, everything is kind of all in one. So I have Juin's focus motor here. So let me go ahead and click on the follow focus. Yeah, this controls the focus from the iPad while you're looking at the image. Oh yeah, there's one more cool thing about this app is that you can go to control mode and change it to motion control. And guess what? If I turn this on, yeah. And you can kill the tilt axis, so you're only controlling the pan. So yeah, this might be a little bit more intuitive depending on scenario, but there you have it, guys. All right, so who is this vibration isolator arm for? Let's say you have a second YouTube channel about cars and you're shooting cars here and there on a budget. 
but really it's ideal for light gimbal setups like this or just even a little bit heavier than this. But I think it's also ideal for anyone who's wanting to be a little bit more discreet. So this is such a compact setup guys. I think this is more discreet than those metal balls hanging down like a diesel truck. In fact, I think you have a better chance getting teabagged by those than this one because this thing right here is super secure guys. I love the fact that it gives me a little bit more peace of mind than like a suction cut method. And even when you're filming with lots of turns, it has these sideway damp mechanism and keeping the gimbal super stable oh yeah these little tiny dampeners with the string mechanism you can adjust the tension on this yeah this looks like a straight up like an RC car <laughs> Oh yeah, I promised that I was going to tear this down at the end of the video. So let's see how quickly I can disassemble this. So I'm going to go ahead and undock this lock right here. Push the safety mechanism. Gimbal is off. And then the screw right here. And you don't have to like unscrew it all the way. Just enough so that you have space to do this. That comes off and bam. Yeah, sometimes you need that speed when you're filming cars. And I know some of you guys are already looking at this and going like, oh man, I could mount that to my bike. And yes, you can. Yeah, what an amazing time to be a filmmaker, guys. ProAim, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Everyone, thank you so much for watching to the end. Till next time, stay stable.